I got that barn sold along with a couple other little dink things around the house and, and I got my greenbacks and uh, now I'm going to go look at a Catalina 22. So I've kind of got a game plan here. I've got this red barn that I've had on the property uh, for quite some time. I've had this property for about 18 years and uh, and I think this barn was pretty much new whenever I uh, bought the property. Anyways, it was full of stuff and I have emptied it out. It's actually a really nice barn, but I don't have any use for it. All right, so my game plan is to try to turn this barn into a sailboat. I'm going to drag this barn out of the uh, out of the woods and all the way up to the front of my acreage, put it up for sale, get it all cleaned up and sold, and hopefully with those proceeds buy me a little sailboat with a cubby cabin inside. So this barn has skids on it, and I need to hook a chain to the skids and pull this barn out of the woods with my uh, four-wheel drive Kubota tractor. Problem is, when I hook onto the skids, there's going to be some pressures pulling those skids inward to meet each other. So I've got to put a cross beam in there to prevent that from happening. And then I need to drill a hole through the skids so I can put a pipe through there and something to attach the chain to. I don't want those limbs to tear up the shingles, so with a limb saw, I'm going to fix that problem real quick. go down on a more flat surface because there was a little bit of a hill right there. I'm not sure where he's going with this. Ta-da!
Okay. Now I've got it here in front of the barn. I want to go around it and clean it up. It's got a little bit of green, green moss growing on one side. So I'll get it cleaned up, mop the inside. And uh, I've got to replace a board right here where the ramp goes. And, uh, and i got to refurbish the ramp. But anyways, overall it looks great. So I'll get it all cleaned up and then move it up to the front of the property and put it up for sale. North side of this building had a lot of, a lot of green stuff growing on it. So I gotta get all that scrubbed off. All right, can't expect top dollar unless you got it clean. I had the barn on Facebook Marketplace for just a couple of days, and it wasn't long and I had a gentleman show up and pay cash for it. I did, however, have to go through a couple of squirrels that were just out tire kicking. After listing the barn for sale, there was so much interest in it, I didn't even have to bother taking it all the way up to the road. It sold right where it was setting. Unfortunately, the barn was too wide to get through my gate, so I had to remove some of my front fencing. With that done, it didn't take long and the barn was headed down the road. With the barn off the property, it was time to go to the next step. Look for a sailboat. Okay, well, a little bit of sunburn. That's how yesterday metal detecting with my niece and I got a lot of sun but uh anyhow I got that barn sold along with a couple other little dink things around the house and and I got my greenbacks and uh, now I'm going to go look at a Catalina 22 um, it's all the way across the state of Oklahoma but I'm going to go take a look at it see if it's uh see if it's what I want make sure it doesn't have any uh, soft decks or major problems with the swing kill or anything like that make sure it's got all of its parts and hopefully I'll be turning that barn into a sailboat and uh, maybe I'll be coming home with a 22 Catalina so anyways here we go well a drive across the state of Oklahoma and then three hours looking at a sailboat and I wound up coming home with one 1977 Catalina 22 with a pretty beefy trailer this is the swing kill version like most of them are overall in really good shape good bones there's a few little cosmetic things that could be done to it but not much it's on a uh, roller trailer the guy came down quite a bit on the boat, like a whole lot, but unfortunately the uh, outboard engine left the deal in the process, but that's okay. I may go back and buy it from him later, but I'll let him sit and think on it for a little while. So this is our cockpit. It could use just a little bit of cleaning. The top side probably needs a another coat of paint the uh, teak definitely needs to be refinished so i'll start working on that gentleman that owned it before the guy I just bought it from had started building another table for it and that's it setting over there cockpit original cushions as you can tell they're in very good shape but they are definitely 1970s style need to do a little scrubbing in here Looks like I got one floorboard here I need to replace. So I've got a curtain here to the V-berth. And he gave me, gosh, I think I've got four different bags full of sails. So I've got a furling jib sail, have a main sail, there's a hank on jib. There's all kinds of sails for this thing. There's also a, uh, came with a little porta pot and uh, it's sitting in the truck. Anyways, this will be a good little starter sailboat uh, with a cubby cabin. This will be my first sailboat with a cubby cabin. Has the canvas cover that I'll scrub. It's a, it's a pop top version. So this whole top portion here hinges up. 
and then this canvas fills in the uh, the gap between the uh, two pieces of fiberglass so a person can a short person such as myself can actually hopefully maybe stand up in here so anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video it was just a short one nothing nothing spectacular but um, hopefully this will give me a little something else to do get out there and, and do some uh, trailer sailing and uh, ca camping you know extended weekends maybe a week long uh, in some of these lakes around Oklahoma and uh, do a little bit of fishing at the same time uh, but this will free me up from having to um, to try to get reservations at RV camps and stuff of this that nature. I can literally just launch this boat, go out in the lake, and go do my own thing for the weekend. And uh, kind of looking forward to that because nowadays with RVing being really big, it can be hard to get a really good camping site. And uh, get out here on this thing. We're talking waterfront property um, all the way around, 360 degrees. So, anyways, I'll catch you guys later. Bye.